Black Bolt is one of my most favorite characters in the Marvel Universe. And he's pretty powerful. He's able to contend with the Hulk, Gladiator, many other powerful beings, the Thor. And his most noticeable thing is his Quasi Sonic Scream. One of his noticeable powers. It's been able to hold off against Thor, Hulk, and even damage the Mad Titan Thanos. But how strong is the King of Adelan, King of the Humans? Well, let's find out. Like I said, Black Bolt is one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. Able to hold his own against Hulk and even defeat Hulk on numerous occasions, tank his punches, and his attacks. And he's also able to hold his own against Gladiator, and if you don't know who Gladiator is, he has been seen keeping in pace with Hyperion, who has been able to go at speeds of nanoseconds, and be able to keep up with the speed of the Silver Surfer, and Bayer Bill, and also hold his own against Thor. So he's definitely in those solar systems, the multi-solar system levels, if not galaxy levels with Wank. And Black Bolt is able to hold his own and defeat him and damage him with his power. Black Bolt has shown to have many more incredible abilities to this energy manipulation, energy destruction, matter manipulation, and telepathy. His power is so great to where he's able to hold his own against Vulcan, which was stated by Emma Frost as being an Omega level mutant. Which, if you don't know who, what Omega level mutants are, they're arranged into be a planetary or solar system, a galaxy level, if not a universal threat. Just like how Jean Grey was the Phoenix, or Strife, or maybe even Storm, who's stated to be Omega level in her own right. And even Legion is Omega level. And Vulcan is, can, is able to be up these, to these levels via his power to manipulate all types of energy. And Black Bolt was able to contend with him. So Vulcan could scale to be in those solar, multi-solar systems to galaxy levels via by a statement by Adam Warlock that his battle with the Kree could threaten the entire universe. And not only was Black Bolt able to fight on par with him, he was able to redirect his energy and use it against him, and later on, able to destroy him via his quasi science scream. With his electron manipulation, he was able to absorb energy from ships and also absorb energy and redirect it at people like Vulcan, who I would say before is an Omega level energy rejector. He's able to switch his mind back into his body and Maxima, and, and also his mind back into Maxima. So he's able to switch his mind to reinforce people via his power to manipulate the electrons. And it's also stated by the narrator that he can turn people into stone. And with his voice, he's able to damage multi solar systems, the galaxy level beings, such as Gladiator and Thanos. And with Thanos, he hit him so hard that he made him bleed and destroy his armor. And also with the power of his voice, he was able to destroy a Tillin or Adelan via the process of using his voice on Thanos. He was also able to obliterate Vulcan, an Omega level energy manipulator, with the power of his voice. Even with his powers being out of control, he's able to shatter or shake planets using his voice. And the full potential of his voice is shown via machine when he was able to punch a hole in space time using his voice. And Reed Richards and Tony Stark were surprised by this via by his power output. So Black Bolt's voice, his quasi sonic scream, is nothing to joke about. His voice is so strong to where he's able to one-shot Apocalypse. And we know how strong Apocalypse is. He's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thor, Hulk, and many other characters. And Black Bolt was able to one-shot him with his voice. Black Bolt is also been able to stop a solar flare via manipulating the energy of the solar flare. And if you don't want to use the Apocalypse feat, he will still be able to damage Apocalypse with his voice. So going out the feats and statements shown by Black Bolt, it is safe to say that he ranged in the solar system to multi-solar system ranges of power, and if you want to highball him to low galaxy levels, he's able to damage Thanos. And even Apocalypse with his voice. And if you don't want to highball him to that level, he still ranks in the solar system to multi-solar system ranges of power, scaling off of the Hulk, Thor, and Gladiator. 
But that has been the video for today. If you like the video, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Also comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.